How and Why We Must Revolt, a six-minute essay by Eric Schechter. The how may be hard to do, but it's simple to describe. Our rulers lack our consent, but they need our acquiescence. When they lose that, when enough people see what is really going on, then the plutocracy will fall. So we simply must raise awareness and recruit many, many people. Communicate in whatever way you're comfortable. Write a leaflet, a book, a song, a play, give a lecture, film a video, have a conversation online or in person. Street demonstrations will bring more attention to your communications. Personally, I like leaflets. Pass this one along if you like it. We must reach consensus on how and why to revolt, what our goals are, what kind of system we want to replace the present one. We don't have time to do this twice, so we'd better not omit anything. Why, in brief. War, poverty, ecocide, and other cruelties cause great unnecessary suffering. We need big changes that the plutocrats won't and can't provide. To retain power, they rig elections, so we must overthrow them. In more detail, the wars are mass murders based on lies to make a few rich men richer. The U.S. Department of So-Called Defense is no such thing. Subjugation and apartheid turn into genocide. Bigotry infects and divides us, misdirecting rebellion. The poverty is artificial scarcity. For instance, in the USA are many homeless people, but far more vacant homes. The thought of joining the unemployed terrifies workers and keeps them in line. Our distribution system is designed not for human need, but to make the rich richer and more powerful. Economic inequality has grown huge in our society. That didn't happen by chance. It's built into our economic system. If we don't share, we trade. For labor, money, food, shelter, interest on loans, political influence, everything. Trade favors whichever trader was already in the stronger bargaining position, thus making him stronger still, increasing inequality. Coercion and deception, when present, are just more bargaining tools, making a trader still stronger. So trade increases inequality, creating a small, powerful, wealthy class. And power corrupts. The plutocrats jail whistleblowers, and they rig elections, as we see from the exit polls. There is no separation between money and political power, since each can buy the other. So the only way to end rule by the wealthy class is to not have a wealthy class. That will require a very different economic system. We're told that our society is based on sound principles like freedom and democracy, and we've merely strayed into superficial corruption. If that were true, and if ecosystem crash weren't so near, then mere reforms might suffice. But we're out of time, and currently the basic principles of our society actually are might makes right and every man for himself. We need to change our principles. We urgently need change to halt the climate apocalypse. It's happening bigger and faster than even the IPCC says. The ecosystem is about to collapse, killing us all. We may still be able to stop it if we change everything, but our rulers are doing very little. So-called green capitalism can't save us. Ecocidal externalities are inherent in every kind of capitalism. That crucial fact is not understood widely enough. Why do our rulers behave so badly? It's not just because they are sociopaths, though they are. It's also because they are all competing against each other. Each can only concern himself with the short-term profits that keep him in power. If he falls behind, he'll be replaced. So he says to himself, I'll let someone else worry about saving the world. Thus, the plutocrats cannot deliver change. 
Big corporations profit from the status quo, so they use their influence to avert any legislation for real change. Not simply because they're greedy, though they are, but also because they are compelled by competition and by their legal charter to maximize short-term profit, disregarding or even concealing any harm they do. They are as trapped in this crazy train as the rest of us. Only a revolution can bring the change we need. A transcript with links to related materials can be found at leftymathprof.org slash y-revolt.